Greetings guys and gals. So on this one, I'm gonna do basically live. Gonna speed a little teeny bit of it up to show the process, but most of it's gonna be live so you can really see how I'm applying the paint, uh, some of the techniques I use. I'm gonna try to answer a lot of the questions people have been asking me. Um, if you would, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Let's do it. Well, a little bit of a different texture in there, but I, I like a lot of that. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a small turn. All right, I think that'll work. You know what? I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna add some blue in here. Add some white right there. I'm not 100% satisfied with. That's okay, it's kind of the point of this. A little turn. All right. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna stay with this. So the next thing I'm gonna do, find out the light side. It's a little trick I like to do. And then lift up this side a little bit to so kind of cover the rest of the painting. That looks pretty good for the light side. I'm gonna take this transparent. Shake it up better. Do a little bit of this side. That's why I like it because you can fade the color into it. And a little bit of black on the edges. That should be good. Probably looks darker than what it actually is in the camera, but that should work out. Mm, let's add a little bit more, just a tad. All right, I'm gonna let this dry for about five minutes, then I'm gonna come back. All right, I'm back. So I got the lid, just placed that down. Now I'm going to lay down all the colors for the textures for the eventual foreground. I'm going to speed this part up so I can wear my mask. I'm not going to do it too fast though, so you can pay attention to what I'm doing. Let's do it. guys I'm back I wanted to show you real quick so this was kind of a mistake but sometimes happy accidents happen so the blue I sprayed down before the black is bleeding through a lot of people have a problem with that most of the time it can be an issue but sometimes if you wait like this it works out perfect because the blue is bleeding through and almost looks like a little nebula or, or just cosmic in the background so I'm gonna leave it add the stars then start doing the uh, the foreground.